Howdy folks, I'm Jim Boskill of the Sheepdogs and this is my beloved 1966 Telecaster guitar. Um, I got this guitar about 10 years ago and uh, it was kind of a guitar player career long search to find it. Um, my uh, dad's good friend when I was growing up that was kind of my main inspiration to pick up the guitar. Um, his name's Russ Dashik and he had a uh, 65 Telecaster that his dad gave him. Um, that looked just like this, you know, it was all beat up and, you know, they, they played the heck out of the thing. And uh, I always kind of looked for that same guitar, something similar, you know, because it was such a big inspiration to me early on. And uh, I finally found it. This was a, uh, a Kijiji find, which is like an online classifieds here in uh, Canada. Where was it? It was in St. Catharines. And I was out of town. Uh, writing songs with a, a friend in California and uh, I wrote the guy when I saw this guitar right away and I was like I, I gotta have this thing you know and uh, we worked out a deal and uh, because I was out of town my dad went and picked it up and uh, I got it for a song and uh, he met the guy in the in a Walmart parking lot with cash and he's thinking, geez, you know, I might get rolled here. This is a little sketchy, but <laughs> he went over and uh, the guy was there in a pickup truck and he had the guitar on the tailgate. He lifted the case, looked all original, closed the case, handed them the cash and, uh, and uh, took it home. And uh, that's my guitar. I guess the story goes, the guy that uh, sold it to me, um, his uncle was a, I guess a pretty well-known jazz guitar player in the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s. I wish I knew his name, but uh, this was his main gigging guitar, and that's why it looks this way, you know? It's just all road-worn and, and beat up. And uh, the guy that sold it to me was a, a shredder and sold it to buy a, uh, an Ibanez gem with the, the grip handle, you know? So his lost my gain. My favorite guitar, my 1966 Fender Telecaster. This guitar, as you can see, is not all original, but uh, mostly original. It's a bit of a mix and match. When I bought it, it had a, uh, a cheesy five saddle, non-original bridge on it with a weird pickup. And uh, I ended up finding a vintage bridge. I think this is a 50s one, so it's not era specific, but it gets the job done. And this is a, uh, a Joe Barden, Danny Gatton model uh, Telecaster pickup which is actually a humbucker, but still sounds like a Telecaster, which is nice. It's still got the twang and the bite of the single coil, but without the hum. And uh, it used to have the original neck pickup in it, but it died in the middle of a show on me one time. And uh, it was pretty corroded, you know, it looked like the rest of the guitar. <laughs> and uh, I had my old, uh, my old buddy Sam Gleason's um, Squire Telecaster pickup from high school kicking around. I always loved the way it sounded and I got it off him. So I I put it in here and it's it's a great match for this bard and so it's always just kind of lived here. And this guitar has uh, mid-60s wiring. They only did it for a couple of years, I guess, 65 and 66, in the transition era of Fender uh, being sold to CBS. And they changed a few design things. So you never get two pickups at the same time, so it goes bridge pickup, middle position is neck pickup, and then the neck position is the neck pickup through a kind of tone circuit, and it sounds really, really muddy, like... Which is kind of a different thing, you know? So it's kind of unique in that way, but I just love it. You know, it's a twang machine, and you associate it with country music a lot, but it's actually quite a versatile guitar. It does a lot of things. It sounds uh, equally as good as a jazz machine as it does for a country machine. And uh, I just love uh, a lot of Telecaster players are my favorite guitar players. Like uh, Roy Buchanan is a big inspiration. Um, Don Rich played with Buck Owens. Um, Danny Gatton is a real beast. Um, Albert Lee's pretty, pretty fantastic as well. A lot of great telly players through the years, and it's just a great guitar overall. And that's my, that's the story of my 1966 Fender Telecaster, Old Faithful. Yeah.